Peep, peep, llamas and alpacas. This is Livy, your professor of cupology, and today we're going to be talking about one in particular scene that everybody is talking about. As we all know, both the trailer and the teasers came out earlier this week, and I still am blown away by the art, the animation, the voice acting, everything. I am so hyped for this show that I'm even losing sleep over it. <laughs> I'm not kidding, but at least I'm getting um, more active with my workout, and I've been like jumping more and everything because I'm so fucking excited. Oh, I'm so excited that I, that I can't talk. But there was one particular scene that absolutely everybody is talking about. I saw this everywhere on Twitter. I saw this everywhere on Discord. And I've even seen it in comment sections. And we're actually going to head to the community comments. So let's shut up and wallop. As we all know, there are a bunch of exciting scenes that keeps us scratching at our heads wondering what is going on here. Especially this one scene in particular, and I'm talking about this one. The one with Devil and Dice. And a lot of us are wondering, what's going on with this picture? So, I've asked the community section what they um, think is possible of what's going on there, and two things. One thing, I'm very sorry if I butchered your name. And another thing, please do not get discouraged if your comment was not read. Most likely, I did not read your comment because you posted it right after I've made this video. But I will be aware of it. I will be aware of it. I will see it. Don't worry about it. And a lot of you guys came up with really good theories. I want to say this really quick. I showed this scene to my mom and she said that they have like kind of a damn gesture to it like they're not dancing but kind of like a dancey gesture so she believes that it is a musical number which a lot of other people thought that too but let's get on with the community comments Cordyceps says definitely a musical number from the looks of the camera angles perhaps it's part of a Halloween special that they teased my theory is that Dice somehow failed to capture the boys or has maybe grown fond of them and doesn't want them to get hurt Ooh, that's interesting. Devil would obviously be furious if his right hand what had alt alt alter your motives? Alter your I, I don't know that word, I'm sorry. Super excited for this one. It looks phenomenal and everything that I wanted for the show. I love me some lore, which don't we all? I, I freaking love Cuphead lore. The art is just so outstanding. Every frame is gorgeous. I agree with that comment 100%, and I love the lore of it. And, and one thing I was mentioning earlier, looking at some of the scenes, I keep on thinking to myself, did they have my channel in mind? <laughs> they probably didn't, but that would be really cool if they did. Because, you know, my channel is mainly for teenage or adult Cuphead fans with a little badass to it. Like, I make it for badass Cuphead fans. I felt a lot of badassness through some of the, um, the clips. And that's what I feel. And I feel... <laughs> I can't get over I'm just so blown away by it and it's like are you sure you did not have me in mind because you know again I like to put some badassness to the Cuphead community now anyway let's move on Landon S says perhaps there is an ongoing arc throughout the show of the devil wanting Cuphead's soul in the trailer we see the devil attempting to get it but failing or I guess getting electrocuted somehow Maybe King is still working with, with the devil, and they're both helping each other out with getting Cuppy's soul. Perhaps the roll the dice show King Dice has is a trap, which as you saw in my tarot rating, I've actually predicted that, that there's something fishy going on with that game show because I saw it in the cards. But anyway, let's continue. Maybe this scene shows that the devil is losing his patience and is starting to get angry that his henchman isn't doing much, much to help out. Just a theory though. Really hope it's something like that. And you have no idea how many times I had to read that because I keep messing up. And I messed up the last time too, but yeah, exactly. And if you want to see that um, video again, I'll have it in the um, card at the end of the video. But yeah, I definitely agree that the, um, that the game show is somehow connected with the devil. So I agree with that. Rena, the VA, said it would seem it could be one of those scenes where the villain has had it with the hero and is plying how to stop him. That's my theory. I can see that. I can absolutely see that. Madison B said, probably threatening him to try harder if the roll the dice game show soul stealing plan fails. 
If he does fail, he'll probably banish him from Inkwell or kill him somehow. Whoa! Okay, um, that's a little too extreme about the killing part, but and I don't know about banishing him from Inkwell because I don't think he, he would care. But yeah, I could definitely see the devil is threatening Dice somehow. I don't know how or what he's threatening him with because even in the trailer, he looks terrified, which that's the first time officially that I've seen King Dice terrified of the devil because in the game he's always happy to see him but but in this he is like terrified and I, that gets me really curious okay Lilo and Stitch fam says it appears that whatever frustration he has with Cuphead the devil is taking it out on his good for nothing lackey again I agree with that method too I can see him getting angry and just like using King Dice as a punching bag Seth D says, It is possible that the devil is just outright abusive towards his henchmen. I can't tell if King Dice is floating or if he's being hooked to something. Um, I think he is floating by the way like he's moving. I don't think he's hooked to something. And the way that the devil has his um, pitchfork... I know there's another name for that, but I can't think of what it is. But the way he had it up, it's like he's like levitating him somehow. So I do not think he's hooked to something. So I think he is floating. And I agree, like, uh, Devil is kind of abusive towards his henchmen because he's the devil. He does not give a shit. And again, like you would see the little henchman, he hits in the head and goes, oh, shut up. Ava the Art Freak says, my theory is that the roll of the dice show is another way the devil is trying to get Cuphead soul. Maybe the devil will give King Dice some sort of reward if he gets Cuphead soul. Oh, that's interesting. Like, like I didn't think about the award part, but yeah, definitely there's like, King Dice wanna just do it just to do it like he... I feel that he's the type that would want something. Like money or more fame and fortune. Something like that. Or even eternal life. Even though that's a very, very deep lore. But he definitely does want something. I can definitely say that. Daniel B says, Maybe it is the beginning of the manager of a future casino in the Inkwell Isles. Or maybe he is just asking King Dice to help him get the soul of Cuphead and maybe it's a musical scene. Again, musical number. I definitely agree with that. I definitely agree it's a musical number. But again, we have to wait and see. Vixen the Amazing said, My theory might be that the devil is taking his anger out on King Dice. Another anger taking out his anger on Dice again. Another one. Rainbow Toy Fun Randomness says, The whole plan was for the devil to get a large amount of souls by luring people into a casino or, in this case, roll the dice. That way, if people get in, then the devil will have the right opportunity to find Cuphead and take his soul. The way the devil points his trident, that's the word I'm looking for, at Dice, he might be abusing him and telling Dice he better bring in Cuphead or else. A fret? Yeah, definitely a fret. Fire Miracle said, My theory is that maybe Devil convinces King Dice to make a deal with him by making him into a loyal companion as a way to help him get Cuphead's soul. I could be wrong though, but man, I am so excited. That's the thing, you don't have to worry if you're wrong or not, because being excited about this, it's just, wow. Like, there's no words for excitement like this. Like, my mouth has been going on about this, that I'm actually driving my parents nuts. <laughs> I'm driving everybody nuts with that, and it's not gonna stop anytime soon. Sorry. Okay. Hey, it's me, said, I heard from a tease of the creators that King Dice and the Devil won't work together until I, like, I think later. How did I not hear about that? How did I not hear about that? Like, the only thing I've heard about was on the Annecy Film Festival um, Q&A, someone asked, do we see uh, King Dice and the Devil in the same scene? And they said, we can safely say yes. That's all I heard. I did not hear about, like, they're not going to work together until later in the show. I did not hear that at all. But I did also hear that they don't think the casino is involved yet but I don't know. Anyways, IDK, I don't remember what they said exactly, but maybe this is where he forces King Dice to capture the cup rubbers to get their souls, or else he'll take King Dice's soul, but this is definitely a musical number. A number one that they're predicting it is a musical number. Wait, like, how I feel it's a musical number is because of the, how the camera angles roll, like like one of them said, and so it reminded me, I, I know this is probably the oddest comparison I ever mentioned, but in the dance scene from Beauty 
Beauty and the Beast, like the rotation of the ballroom. It reminds me of that. And if you look carefully in the background, it looks computer generated. So that's what it reminded me of. And it's probably like an odd nod to that um, scene in Beauty and the Beast. Because Beauty and the Beast was the first animated movie to do that. To mix 2D animation with CGI. Anyways, let's continue. Matchmaker Amethyst says, Ha! I knew he was still working for Big D. Obviously, his game show is a trap to lure the souls who escape old scratch. Again, the trap. The trap. The game show. There's something fishy about that game show. Patrick V says, Ah! I'm so excited to see the Cuphead show February 18th. We all are. We all are. Rewritten says, I just want to know what the devil's doing to King Dice and if King Dice still works for him, someone make a theory video about this. I guess this is kind of like a theory video because I'm going over the um, community comments and I'm talking about what I personally think. So this is kind of like a very, very 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 video but yeah we, we'll definitely talk more about this if, like more like teases and that come up anyway let's continue frippy cone animation says boy look at that dice dude yeah he looks terrified and that that animation it's like whoa Silly Vision Studios, and this will be the last one I'll read. I think Cuphead tricks King Dice and ended up in hell. That's my thoughts. So yeah, there's a lot of interesting theories here. So it could definitely be a musical number. It could definitely be he's threatening him. He could be that he's trying to make a deal with him. But there is like some sort of business going on with King Dice and the devil. That is not a lie. I can definitely see that, and my cards actually said that, and again, I will have the, um, the video in the end card, so if you want to see that, you can go ahead and say that. But those are a lot of interesting theories, and one that I saw on Discord, they were comparing it with the musical number thing, they were comparing it to this one song from Hamilton, which I've never seen Hamilton, I don't know any of the songs, so I cannot say whether I agree with that or not. But one thing I did mention, and my mom actually agreed with it, is I kind of see it like the Oogie Boogie song from Nightmare Before Christmas, something similar to that. But, I don't know, we all ha have to wait and see. I'm just so damn excited about this episode. I'm so damn excited about this whole damn series. It's just, oh my god, 28 days, guys. 28 freaking days. So, let's continue this conversation. Tell me in the comment section below what you think this scene is all about. And if you agree with any of these thoughts and theories and ideas, just let me know. And also, if you see the um, tarot reading, tell me how you think those connect somehow. And the random question of the day. <laughs> I actually asked this on my Twitter and I just think this is freaking funny. Who would most likely tip over an outhouse with someone in it? The devil or Cuppy? Let me know in the comment section below. I I know it's, it's gross. It's not a pleasant thing to think about, but it, it's kind of funny. But also, here are all my social medias. My Discord server is in the description, and there's also new stuff coming up. And oh my god, I cannot talk. I am so excited. And I will see you next week. Knockout Bravo. Yeah.